I want to talk a little bit about that starting roster for Street Fighter Six. a little bit more about this trailer. I think when it comes to trailers like this, it can be pretty easy to fall into that realm of kind of cringy, you know, when they're doing uh, trailers and like when companies put out stuff like this, it toes a very fine line of, oh, this kind of cringe and very corporate feeling to not nah, like they, they kind of get it. Like it looks cool. It feels cool. And the theme of it all uh, comes together in, in a good way. It's only about a minute and 10 seconds. Let's watch it all the way through. And then uh, we'll talk about some of the characters that we saw and some that we thought we were going to see. So I've been thinking about strength, man. Our saw they strength. went with it is Mike. was a really good Too choice. <laughs> Is it money, authority, a cool job, a ton of likes? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's keep it simple. I want to be strong. Can you believe it? We got self-driving cars. The time's coming. We'll be taking rockets to Mars. And yet you still got folks out there using their fists and bodies to seek strength. Yeah, I hear you, man. We're all a bunch of fools. But, you know, if you want to know about strength, you just got to get to it. We fighting fools are all getting to it on the streets. So this is our starting roster. 18 characters. I think originally we thought it was going to be, what, 22, 21? Uh, it's missing Akuma. It's missing Ed. It's missing Aki. And it's missing somebody else I can't think of that was on that leak. But uh, 18 is good enough for me. 18 is good enough to like spend a good amount of time learning characters before DLC comes out. Choosing your character, that's a big deal, right? If the game launches with 22, it's a lot of stuff to go through, right? E even if you don't want to play the characters, it's a lot of stuff to learn. So 18, I, I think, is a good choice. Uh, they changed Mimi's name, by the way. Mimi is this one over here. The kind of I think people are saying she's like Abel or something. That's kind of the assumption. But uh, her name is Manon, I think. So uh, that, that was kind of weird because in the leak, it was a whole completely different name. I thought it was a different character because in the trailer, they show that uh, alternate costume where she's kind of like dressed up and she's wearing that leather thing. Uh, who else is in here? JP. He seems very interesting. I think based on the fact that it said like authority or whatever, I think he's going to be like uh, a villain or something. And he seems like he's going to be the new bison. He'll probably have a bunch of plus frames like we all love. <laughs> That's what I'm kind of assuming. Uh, I think this is Marissa. She's got the Magneto cut. Uh, this is, is going to be a grappler, right? I think Mr. Mad Gear has already claimed that he will be playing her. So we'll see how long that lasts. You got Zangief back here, of course. Jury, who's already been revealed. Uh, Cammy, this is the first time we've kind of seen her. You know, let's cut back to the video and look at that little uh, graphic they made of her. So this is the graphic that they put on the screen for her. To me, her face looks kind of odd from this angle. It looks fine in that picture with all of them, but from this angle, her nose like <laughs> kind of juts out right here. I don't, I don't know what that's about. She's got a big ass forehead too, <laughs> but it looks fine. You know, uh, I think her redesign, like costume wise, looks great. It's probably one of the best redesigns, one of my favorites. Uh, Jerry also looks really good, and I think Chun's does as well. Shows Chun right here. This this isn't what she looks like in the game, <laughs> but uh, I think her redesign looks good, except when she does certain moves. Like certain moves look really weird uh, the way they animate. Um, uh, ones that come to mind probably legs. Like multi hitting moves seem like they need a little bit of polish. Uh, especially Ryu's Tatsu, he just kind of floats around through the air. <laughs> There's no wind effect around it there's no impact when he hits he just kind of spins around in the air it looks really funny uh and i think that's one of the things i'm worried about with cammy is that <laughs> she's gonna come out and you're gonna do a spiral arrow and there's gonna be no wind effects around it she's just gonna ball up like she's diving and then just you know fly in <laughs> overall though i think the game looks great i really have no complaints besides those few little things um the fact that they got me even excited to see Dalsum is a real testament to that because if you're looking at the screen right now, his walk cycle looks great. Like, look at it. And the, all of his moves animate fantastic. He just looks cool. Even though we all hate playing against him, me especially, I could still appreciate that they put a lot of work into him and it paid off. One other thing that I hope they touch up on is like, um, if you look at Honda, his muscles and stuff, 
just look wide. They don't really have any texture to them. Like his skin doesn't have any texture to it, I guess. Uh, that's very minor, though. I just noticed it while I'm looking at it now. They announced in the beta, though, that Honda, Sim, and uh, who is the third one? Blanca will not be playable. It'll only be Ken from like that batch of characters. And I think they did that on purpose. So like new players don't get on the beta and just lose to Sim pressing stand medium punch or Honda doing a bunch of headbutts or Blanca doing a bunch of Blanca balls and then not want to buy the game. I honestly think that's a, what they did and it's a good idea. I cannot fault them for that. As far as characters on this list that I'm like really excited to still see the trailers for, of course, Cami number one, JP seems very interesting. As long as he's not like a slow old man like uh, bison is in five where he's very slow and kind of clunky to move around i'll probably try him out um i'm excited to see manon or, or mimi whichever one you want to call her uh i don't know if i'll play her though she's a grappler i'm not a big grappler guy i don't really care so much for um uh, marissa the the big uh i think that's her name the the big like grappler lady and lily which i think is going to be like t-hawk uh not really interested in those two dj I think is interesting just because um, I don't really, I've never played a game with him in it, you know? Uh, obviously, I've never played a game with these newcomers either, but I've seen DJ before. I've just never played a game with him in it, so I'm interested to just see what he does. Luke is a pretty interesting case because I've been a big Luke hater because of how good he is in 5, and I feel like he, I don't think he ruined the game, but he's just very annoying to play against in 5, and his character archetype not his archetype, but like his theme in five is that he's kind of cocky and, and, you know, he he's not very mature, but everything that we've seen in six is like, oh, he's grown up. Like he's matured. He's your coach now. He's cool, right? It, <laughs> it seems like he's on your side now, which I think fits him a lot better. And I actually like his character a lot more from all the stuff that we've seen in Street Fighter six. So I could definitely see myself playing a little bit of Luke, uh, definitely going to play Cammy going to play Chun in the beta, and then when the game comes out, I'm always going to try everybody at least once. Even if I don't plan on playing them, I got to see what they're all about. <laughs> if we go back to that original leak, the one that came out months ago, you'll see that Ed, Rashid, Aki, and Akuma are missing from that uh, starting roster that they posted or, or that they gave to us yesterday. Um, I could see Akuma being like a end game boss, like how it is in DNF Duel where you have to complete some part of the single player because the single player seems pretty expansive where you have to complete some certain part of single player to unlock him i could see these other three characters also being unlockable although i could also see ed being scrapped i know it's kind of sad to some of you guys i could see him being scrapped because of how the modern and the classic inputs work and his inputs you know by default are <laughs> the modern inputs so it might conflict there and they maybe thought that it wasn't worth bringing him back that's kind of my tinfoil hat conspiracy though uh, there's no basis to that so ed players <laughs> don't uh you know get super sad uh rashid i, I don't know I, I could only really see akuma being like a final boss character that you have to unlock uh, mostly because i don't know uh her story right i don't, I don't really know what role she plays in the whole thing, but I do know Akuma's story to some extent. That's kind of my thoughts and concerns on uh, Street Fighter VI, mostly on the roster, a little bit on the animation and effects, like I said. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, and uh, I'll talk to you again very soon.